Welcome to Level Up. This program was designed to help customers upgrade their existing secure firewall deployments to the latest suggested release. In this short video, I will walk you through the flow of the program and give you an idea of the process as well as some of the outcomes that you can expect. Step 1 of the process is to sign yourself up for the program by filling out all of the fields on the intake form and clicking Submit. Once your entry has been processed, you will receive one of three potential emails. You will either receive an accept email informing you that you have been accepted into the program, which will look similar to this. You may also receive an ineligible email that looks like this, informing you that you have not been accepted with some additional information as to the reason why. The most common being that invalid data was entered into the intake form, such as CCO ID or email address. And finally, in the event that you are accepted, but there is no current capacity for new candidates, you will receive an email notifying you that you are on the wait list and will be accepted into the program as capacity allows. After being accepted into the program, you will open a placeholder TAC case on your behalf. This case is used solely to facilitate secure communications and data collection required for the program. Additionally, it sets the groundwork to allow us to quickly engage a TAC engineer should the need arise. Once this case is opened, you will receive a welcome email similar to this one, which outlines instructions on how to gather troubleshooting files from a representative sample of devices in your environment. But what does representative sample mean? We provide an example of this in the email itself in this section. But effectively, all it means is one troubleshooting file per model that you have. So if you had four virtual FTDs, we would just want a single virtual FTD troubleshoot. Same thing goes for if you had four 2110s, we would want just one 2110 troubleshoot. Rinse and repeat for each model you have in your network. This welcome email also covers two different methods for gathering this data. The first is a manual method, which is simply a link to an article which outlines the steps to manually generate a troubleshooting file via the web UI. The second, simpler option is the generate and upload a troubleshooting files with a single one-line command using our first responder script. Detailed instructions to the second method should have been sent to you in a separate email which you can expect to receive shortly after the case is opened. Here is an example of what the first responder email would look like. Once a representative sample of data from your environment has been uploaded to the case, our automation systems will analyze your data against some common upgrade challenges to gauge your individual susceptibility to these issues. Once analysis is complete, these results will be combined with other environment-specific information into a customized pre-upgrade checklist document. This document is then emailed to you for review and consideration prior to upgrading. Here is an example of that document. At the top of the document is a benefits section showing you the benefits you can expect when upgrading to the newest suggested release from the perspective of the version that you're running. Beneath this is a section highlighting some of the issues that were identified during the automation that may cause problems for your upgrade. These are things you're going to want to address prior to attempting your upgrade, as they may cause the upgrade to fail entirely. Beneath this is a continuation of those checks that we ran against your specific environment, but these are the things that passed without issue. And finally, there is an Upgrade Instructions section. This section covers a very specific upgrade instructions for your environment, including the order in which you should upgrade things, supporting documentation for each step, as well as the file names you're going to need along each step to ensure a successful upgrade. There is some additional information at the end of the document covering what you should do if you encounter an issue during your upgrade. If you encounter issues during your upgrade, your case can be transferred to a TAC engineer who can assist in resolving those issues. And lastly, there is a section covering how you can inform us that the upgrade has been completed successfully. We can then proceed with closing out the placeholder case, marking the end of your journey through the Level Up program. This marks the end of the program overview. We hope that this program will help you successfully level up your secure firewall deployment.